So once again, a very warm welcome to all the YouTube subscribers of Futuromics. So today we are going to discuss about the one of the most important resource called as a string database. And with respect to that, we are even going to see that uh, using the string database specifically for the protein-protein interaction network, how the function enrichment analysis can be done. Okay, I think this is the video which I have upload, uploaded earlier. But today I'm going to show you that if you are constructing any network using string database, so how you can load the data in the form of the network, which contain the nodes and edges information using cytoscape to construct the network as per your interest, right? And then you can move to find out the hub nodes. So hub nodes are nothing but the potential interacting nodes, which may be considered as one of the potential biomarkers or else the potential drug targets, what you're looking against your specific disease, right? So today I'm going to walk through all of you that how exactly you can start your analysis starting from the string database to construct a network against a list of protein targets or else disease or else you can even go for the single protein name, right? Once you just perform that search, then how you can proceed to construct a network using Cytoscape as a software. So we are going to proceed now. As you all can see that I have just launched the search in the string database. And for a while, I'm going to move for the uh, multiple proteins because many of the researchers, they are uh, looking ahead, like if we want to construct a PPI interaction network, so how we can reconstruct the network using Cytoscape. And then in that, we can look for the identification of specific biomarkers, or else we can even integrate any kind of expression data sets, right? Because this kind of research is, um, widely getting published in the research papers because now uh, we have enough of data available in the form of the database context, right? And even we are continuously retrieving from the experimental techniques or as the high throughput techniques or the tools. So now there is a step ahead that we have to retrieve those information of the panel of the list of genes or the proteins and then move ahead to understand their functional relevance information and then construct a potential network which might help us to identify a potential or else the biomarkers against that. Okay, for example, if you have a panel of the list, okay, for example, here we have some list of the protein target, right? Uh, you can even go for this one. It might be based on your interest, guys. So you have, if you're providing the list of the protein, so you can go ahead and give one by one or else you can simply upload a list of protein targets, right? So be specific because this network is ultimately guide you to construct a network uh, based on the interaction of one protein against other, right? So the default is gets selected like Isertia coli and I'm going to hit a launch of search from here. And you all of you can see that I have to just proceed for continue for a while because I need a network, basic network from here. So you all of you can see that this is a network which is get generated. As it is a very small network, so my interest will be to go ahead and just make little large. But in your case, guys, that if you have a network is getting constructed as if uh, a complex, right? So it's ready to go ahead and just download the data, okay? I'm going to show you, but for a while, I'm just going to add some more uh, nodes over here because I need little complex networks so that I can show you using Cytoscape, how you can find a potential hub nodes, right? So this is a one complex network. I think it's enough for a while. And the simple thing what you have to do is that uh, you have to make sure that while you're going for the export option, you're downloading the data, right? Uh, you can directly load this network in the Cytoscape. That is a one approach you can do. I'm going to show you the both the things, right? And then you can separately download the file which contain the Excel. Can you see that all of you, right? Which is mentioned as an Excel with a TSV format, right? So you can simply download this. First, I will just download this, right? Once I do that, and uh, I'm even going to show you that how you can send a network with Cytoscape directly. So for that, what you have to do, you have to install the Cytoscape software on your system. So how to do that? I think that tutorial is also uploaded in my channel, you all of you can visit for the same. 
right? So once, first I'm going to launch the cytoscape from my system because the successful downloading and installation has already been done, okay? Once you all of you can see guys that once the cytoscape is successfully launched on my system, then this option, what you all of you can see that will be default get available, okay? But right now I'm not able to uh, perform this. If you just click on that, you can see that it start communicating with cytoscape, right? So open or insert the cytoscape network, right? So for that first, we have to launch the cytoscape. So in my system, the cytoscape is getting launched. So it will take some couple of seconds. Okay, then I'm going to share the whole uh, screen afterwards. Once we just go for the actual network. Yeah. So these are the steps, guys. There are the two ways. The first is send the network directly to cytoscape. And there is another way where you can directly go for the download option that is what i have shown to you okay first we will go with this approach i will look all of you let's start communicating with cytoscape and once it's done then this network what we can see on our screen will directly get launched on our cytoscape application okay from there, there is a step we have to move to reconstruct the network as per our convenience, okay? What we need to represent, okay? So for a while, Yeah, so that is the one thing, guys, what you all of you can do. Meanwhile, as we have downloaded the file, so that we will just launch accordingly. So it is still showing like a communicating. So we will just refresh. This might be fine. Okay, so for a while, you all of you can see that the one network which I've opened. So first I will just uh, open that and then I will just copy. I will just share that screen to all of you. So you all of you can see that this is a file of TSU which contained the string. So I have just copied that all. And then I will just launch Excel sheet, right? Why I need an Excel sheet, guys? Because uh, it's a mixture of data, right? So I have to do the step called as a processing, like pre-processing, you can see. Because here I need uh, the data which contain a proper node and edges information, right? So then only it will just proceed for the network construction. If you directly paste, guys, so challenges will come. You will not get a proper network. Rest, all the things are not required for a while. So we'll just simply delete this. I hope you got it, right? So we have a node and we have a node two right over here. Okay, so what it will do, the node one will have interactions with the node two. Okay, so that is what we are going to see. Now I'm going to save this file. Simple thing you have to do, you have to save this file. Okay, save as. Uh, in the downloads, okay. And I will just go for the CSV. And then I'll just mention like a network.csv. Fine. Once I've done that, all of you can see now that I'm just going back with the cytoscape. Then I'm going to guide you that how you can proceed for the network construction using Cytoscape. Okay.
So I hope that till this its points are clear to all of you. Quickly, we will just launch. Just a second. You can see, guys, that uh, the Cytoscape application is get launched on the system, right? And you have to proceed, like, right? first thing what we are going to do, we are going to upload. So we are going to go in the downloads. Uh, in over here that we have the downloads from here okay we got it and from downloads we have saved like network.csv then open simply so this is the node and edges right so this is the one thing you can do or else simply you can go from here and then click on this so see there are two options but my recommendation to all of you guys is that please refer this which one this option okay to uh, up, open your particular file got it so this option is preferable so i'm going to show you like if you just click on this network.csv open right so it will default tell you like this is a node source node and this is a target node right yes okay once you do that you all of you can see that this is a network which get constructed on your cytoscape application right so uh, now what you have to do, if you're interested to find out like the, there are different options are there, okay? So if you just go in the network, so there are different styles are there, okay? This is a default representation. You will find multiple representations are available. Okay, so this is a one, right? So you can just manually take this, okay? And then you can just, uh, this is a manual manual analysis, what you have to do very specifically, right? So if you think that this is a fine, okay, with the nodes and the edges, if you want to show the interactions you can do, or else you can show, change the different representations from here. Okay. So as you all can see that, again, it will go back with the same representation. So you have to manually do that. Maximum things are over here where you have to go for the manually. So here you will find multiple options, okay, to way to represent your network. So it's based on you guys that how you can select that okay so uh, at, at last we need like our network to be uh, included in for the publication context right so it's good to go ahead and then perform the analysis which look better okay so my i think that uh, this network is pretty okay means the way Okay, now I'm going to show you that how you can use the multiple uh, options from here to make your network better, pretty better, better. Okay, so here is their source and the target, fine. So uh, what you have to do is that uh, first we will just perform like a hub over here. So for that, what you have to do, you have to go in the app store and show the app stores. And from here, you have to type like Saito hub okay so you can see that and then you have to just tick like yeah i need the site to hub, right so once it's done it's there already because i have installed got it and once that is done so you all of you can see that here in the site to hub will get created right so you have to give your network like yes default it will get selected the one which you have provided and then mention like calculate the source node source sports accordingly right so if you want to get that it you can export the more you can find in the help page right so what you have to do is that if you want to check it out the user manual you can do or else you can export from the tutorial got it so out of this so as you all can see that in the notes we have 24 notes are there for our network right so what cytoscape will help you to find like best 10 one out of that okay you can select that you need best top 10 hub nodes top 20 according to the complex network what you're constructing right so my recommendation is that if you want to show like top 10 it's better if you want to go for top 20 or top 30 based on the complex network you can do that right and here you have to select like yes top 10 and there are different methods are there okay where this network will get constructed 
So you have you can just read more with the manual, but many of the papers they are referring with MCC method, right? You can select that, and then if you want to go for like a check for the first stage of network, right? Display the shortest path you can do, and then submit. Once you just submit, guys, now you can see that the network what you can see on your screen it's again pretty good, right? Pretty good in the sense how because here we are able to get this network. Uh, with the specific interactions. It's nothing but the hub one, right? So hub means what? Where we are getting the network based on the maximum interactions. So now the thing is that you have to sit properly and then perform the manual analysis. It's a patience, okay? Um, Lee, you have to make the network to look pretty good, right? So it's time consuming process, but yeah, you have to do that thing. So I'm going to show you that how uh, you can perform this analysis quickly, right? So this is the network scores you will get, right? And as per that, you the top 10 hub nodes you will get from here. Now select, this is option over here, right? Uh, the option you will find in the select. And for example, this is one network, means the node I have selected. So the top is T uh, trap C, right? So what I will do, I will just double click on trap C. So it's filled with the red, don't change the color. Just you can change the shape, okay, circle, and then apply. Okay, if you just see all of you guys, now it is in the form of circle, right? So once it, that is in the circle, then you can just again double click on that and just you can increase the font. So right now it's a 12. You can go for like uh, 20 because it's one of the hub. Okay. So 20. And then again, double click on that. And then you can just uh, specify the size. So right now it's 35. You can go for like 50. Right. It's pretty good. Yeah. And then again, double click on that. And then you can just, uh, if you want to add certain images, guys. So here different images are even available. Okay. So you can even go for the images. From here. Any images you think you want to add, you can do that and then apply. But uh, for a while, you can see that uh, here. Label color, if you want to change the label color. You can even do. And then OK. Okay, now you can see that the label color is also get changed, right? Again, double click on that. It's all about the node. Okay, why node? Because here you can see all of your guys. The option is get selected for the node, right? Uh, transparency, if you want to make like 255 is the highest, you can make like 200, right? And you can see that transparency, right? And again, double click. So you can just make a border line if you want to. And like uh, 2.5, for example. Now, if you can see that there is one borderline has created. All of you can observe that, right? So that is the one thing. See, have a look. I will even double click on that. I will just make the border, uh, set the bypass again with uh, like uh, five, right? And okay. Now you can see that it's looking pretty, right? Compared to the other, right? So this is how you have to do manually for the other, right? So if you just double click on that and if you just go for the edges also, so here the edges are there, right? So line for the edges is there, right? So you can select the line, what you need, right? But default, I think whatever it gets selected, it's fine, it's good. Different lines are there, but you can select as per your convenience, right? So now you can see that it's looking in this way, but the default is fine, solid line. And here, the, all the edges will get selected. But if you want to just select, you can double click and just mention like uh, group uh, means basically add the nearest network, right? So this is one option. You can do the control set. Remove. Fine. So just double click. Ah, here you can see all of you that add option is there. 
and in add there is option called as the edge connecting to the selected node i need the only edges which is connecting to my selected node okay so double click on that add selected edges okay once that that is done then your uh, the the network for the selected one will get okay There are different options are there and again it is depend on how you are using. Okay, you can even explain with respect to the external analysis like the array analysis. So this I will just explain in my next tutorial. So stay tuned for the same, right? So you can add the X-ray and uh, array data, right? You can go for the model organism for the representation, ontological analysis, right? So gene ontological analysis, which is function in, in, uh, enrichment, right? Then the pathway analysis you can do. You can fetch out the publications for the same. You can showcase the structure for the same and much more analysis, right? So this is how you can do for the single network as I shown to you, right? So you can show like this one, right? So this is a one way of approach you can do. So I will just minimize little. Right. So whichever is having the interaction, so you have to manually perform that. Got it? So as I mentioned earlier, like it's a, one of the time consuming process, but yeah, you have to do that. And every node specifically you can showcase, right? So this is another protein which is having the interaction. So you can just double click on that, go in the nodes, then again, make a shape of circle, right? Then you can increase the font size like 30. Okay. And size, right? You can make like a 70. Got it? So I think 75 it's fine because here it's taking in this way. Okay, 75. Can you see that? Okay, so likewise, if you just showcase only this also, so you got created this kind of network. Double click to just make a bot. Again, make a 5. I think that is pretty good. Okay, so then this way, the this kind of network can be constructed for a quick and simple. Okay, if it's very complex, this is a way you can do. Many options are still there, guys, the, in the network, right? And in the no network background, you can change the background. But I think white is preferable, right? Whatever the columns you have, you want to change the background found, okay? You can add the any kind of images in the background, you can do that. Right. So this is a quick way of uh, layout how you can perform this uh, hub notes. Once you have identified, you can just perform the uh, editing, editing based on your particular specific notes to showcase. Okay, here I have showcased only specific one, remember guys. But uh, you can even do much more better analysis for that. In the layouts, you can check it out. Different layouts are even there, right? Uh, you can even add that. You can even add some multiple uh, layouts from here, right? Uh, and then, yeah. So view option is there. In the view, you can just uh, show the full screen, then add the showed graphics information, right? And then you will even find uh, tools over here. If you want to merge the network, there is one more option, guys, like if you want to merge the network, so you can even do, for example, you have a two networks with you and now you want to merge that thing. So just click on merge and select like network. So it will ask you which merge network to get merged. For example, this is the one, add it. This is the second, add it, right? So we are doing the union for a while, right? And then merge. If you do that, again, you can see that this is the one which get created. And the same thing you have to apply, like go in the app and from here you can see that it will ask you like, do you need a merge network? Yes, because calculate that. Here I'm showing for the default. 
But in your case, guys, you can go for the specific one. Got it? And then submit. Now you can see that again. So this is what you will do. So you have to again go specifically, which look better for the representation manually. And then you want to showcase this thing. Got it? So if I just quickly show you guys, like double click, go in the network option, uh, sorry, style. And in the nodes, make a circle because I need all the particular, um, what you can say as the nodes in the circle, which are in the red, the top hub nodes, right? Because this hub nodes are the all protein biomarker, right? Just make a quick shapes for that. I'm not making shape for the another because I want to showcase and represent like this are the significant one rather than then showcasing the other, right? So as I mentioned earlier to all of you, it's a time consuming process. It's a patiently you have to do the thing. Uh, the patiently you just perform the analysis the the beauty will come ac accordingly right so yeah now you can see now all of you guys that this is what you can see right and if you just uh, go back with the so the default right you can check it out for the multiple one okay now you can see that's looking pretty good right compared to the previous one and now uh you can select like a, this is a TRPC is the first one, right? So it is overriding. Just remove. Okay. Like this. Fine. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty good now. Right? You all of you can see that. So example, trap one is there. So I will just uh, take this over here and then we'll just double click and then I will right. Shape is already there. So width option has shown now, right? It's 60 default. So I will go for the 80. Now you can see that the width option is there. Then height, right? So height is 40. I will go for the 50, right? Then the pound, I will go for like uh, 20. Sorry. Right, fine. And border, again, 5. If you want to make a border paint, like a red color, anything. Okay. You can see now. Okay, I think red is previously there. So I will just change red to black. Fine. I can see that all of you, right? Then I, have, I think I have not given transparency. I will give the transparency of 50. So you can see that here, 50, I think it's making very large. I will go for like 10. Fine. So likewise, for every thing you, all of you can just make that thing. Fine. Uh, make sure that the font and the things what you're doing it should look pretty good, right? Then shape is given already. Width is 80 and height is 70. Okay, I think 70 is very specific. So I will just set a one like uh, 50, okay? Pound, I think we have to increase the pound a little, like 30, okay. And width, like 70. Again, increase. ninety. Fine, I think now it's pretty good. You can see now, got it.
think transparency, we will remove that. I think now it's fine. Okay. So accordingly, guys, you have to sit calmly and then you have to make this representation which look like better for your network where you can construct uh, nodes. And these nodes are ultimately you can call or else include and it's one of the hub nodes. Okay, many things you can even do more, remember. Okay, I'm going to show you now quickly like how you can save. So go in the file. You can save the session first because it will be available for the long time. Okay, you can even export your session in the ndx format or as the file format right so for a while i need the image right so i will just make an image uh make sure that you are making like an image uh, in the good pixel if you are going for the png okay then select a maximum transparent background okay you don't make like a uh, hide labels if you just make a hide label tick over here even just remove transparent background okay if for a while we will just check it out and height label it is don't do that okay if you do that then the labels will get removed okay and just uh, give the option where this things will save so yes in the network only network of hub okay you can like just mention like a top 10 fine and then i will just save okay so i will just go back and i will just check it out that do my this particular network is available if yes right so definitely it will be then i'm going to show you like where exactly the network is available as i mentioned it will be there in my downloads so you all of you can see that what a pretty image okay so it is high dimensional okay so if you want to give this for the publication context also it will get accepted because this is a high dimensional clear so I hope that all of you get the overview step by step regarding uh, from a string database, how you can download this file and then construct a network. Okay. Uh, in the next session, we will just see that how you can directly launch the network in the Cytoscape, right? And then we will even see like how you can even perform like more analysis to construct your network in the Cytoscape software. So I hope that all of you get an overview regarding the same and it will be highly required for the publication, right? So many of the papers are getting published based on this kind of network analysis. So highly recommended and I hope that you all of you get an overview, right? So um, so if you have any queries, like please um, give your questions, comment below, right? Uh, please subscribe the channel if you have not done so that you will get a least notification of the new videos which will be get uploaded from our channel okay so if you like the video please um, like the button okay uh, and thank you very much guys once again